Hello everyone, and welcome to our parish celebration of the Eucharist for the most holy body and blood of Christ known as Corpus Christi. My name is Tim Pulaski, the commentator for this Mass. Lorraine Reeves is your lector. Your servants are Kashmir and Anne Mary Terrence. Monica and Marco are filming. Father George is our celebrant. The special intentions for this Mass are for Blas Madrid, Esperanza Aragon, Guadalupe Guerra, Lily Ramos, Angel Perez Jr., Dolores and Angel Perez Sr., Antonio Miranda, Skip Urban, and Terry Wheeler. Our entrance antiphon is, He fed them with the finest sweet, and satisfied them with honey from the rock. For those of you who have songbooks at home, our entrance song is Table of Plenty. And for those who are here, please stand. of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My brothers and sisters, as we know that today that we are celebrating the solemnity of the most holy body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Holy Eucharist, <coughs> Through the Holy Eucharist, Jesus gives himself to us. And he teaches us through that, that we ourselves, we give ourselves to one another. So let us be grateful and thankful for the gift of the Holy Eucharist. Jesus is with us. Let us acknowledge our sinfulness and ask God's pardon and forgiveness.
I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts, in my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fall, through my most grievous fault, Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, our Virgin, all angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ have mercy, Christ have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Glory to God, glory to God, glory to God in the heart. wonderful sacrament have left us a memorial of your passion grant us we pray so to revere the sacred mysteries of your body and blood 
that we may always experience in ourselves the fruits of your redemption who lives and reigns with you with God the Father in the unity of the Holy Spirit one God forever and ever please be seated A reading from the book of Deuteronomy. Moses said to the people, Remember how for 40 years now the Lord your God has directed all your journeying in the desert so as to test you by affliction and find out whether or not it was your intention to keep his commandments. He therefore let you be afflicted with hunger and then fed you with manna, a food unknown to you and your fathers, in order to show you that not by bread alone does one live, but by every word that comes from the mouth of the Lord. Do not forget the Lord your God, who brought you out of the land of Egypt, that place of slavery, who guided you through the vast and terrible desert with its seraph serpents and scorpions, its parched and waterless ground, who brought forth water for you from the flinty rock and fed you in the desert with manna, a food unknown to your fathers. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Praise the Lord, Jerusalem, Alleluia. Praise the Lord, Jerusalem, Alleluia. Glorify the Lord, O Jerusalem. Praise you, God, O Zion. He has strengthened the bonds of your gates. He has blessed your children within you. Praise the Lord Jerusalem. Alleluia. He has granted peace in your borders. With the best of wheat he fills you. He sends forth his commands to the earth. Swiftly runs his word. Praise the Lord Jerusalem. Alleluia. He has proclaimed his word to Jacob his statutes and his ordinances to his royal. He has not done thus for any other nation. His ordinances he has not made known to them. Alleluia. Praise the Lord Jerusalem. Alleluia. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, the cup of blessing that we bless, is it not a participation in the blood of Christ? The bread that we break, is it not a participation in the body of Christ? Because the loaf of bread is one, we, though many, are one body, for we all partake of the one loaf. The word of the Lord. 
Thanks be to God. God. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. I am the living bread that came down from heaven, says the Lord. Whoever eats this bread will live forever. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus said to the Jewish crowds, I am the living bread that came down from heaven. Whoever eats this bread will live forever. And the bread that I will give is my flesh for the life of the world. The Jews quarreled among themselves, saying, How can this man give us his flesh to eat? And Jesus said to them, Amen, amen, I say to you, unless you eat the flesh of the Son of Man and drink his blood, you do not have life within you. Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood has eternal life, and I will raise him on the last day. For my flesh is true food, and my blood is true drink. Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood remains in me, and I in him. Just as the living Father sent me, and I have life because of the Father, so also the one who feeds on me will have life because of me. This is the bread that came down from heaven, unlike your ancestors who ate and still died, whoever eats this bread will live forever. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Now, my brothers and sisters, you know, together we are the church. Then, you know, who is the center of the church? And we all know that Jesus is the center of the church. So, how is Jesus most prominently present to us? Mainly, Jesus is present to us in the Blessed Sacrament. So today's feast is the feast of the very center and the heart of our church. The center and heart of our faith. Center and heart of our parish. The center and heart of the life of everyone. Jesus in the Blessed Sacrament. So today's feast is most important. You know, we celebrate this feast to establish for three purposes. The first one is to give God collective thanks for Christ's abiding presence in us, in the Eucharist, and to honor and worship Him. So Jesus in the Holy Eucharist, and we honor and worship. 
And the secondly, this feast is to instruct the people in the mystery, faith and devotion surrounding the Eucharist. And thirdly, this feast is to teach us that we all need to appreciate and make use of the great gift of the Holy Eucharist, both as a sacrament and as a sacrifice. I know that um, some of you find it difficult to believe that bread and wine change into the body and blood of Jesus. You know, I can understand your doubt. We don't see any change in the bread and wine. There is no difference in the taste. The bread still tastes like bread and the wine still tastes like wine. It is going against logic to say that the bread and wine change into the body and blood of Jesus despite no change in appearance. Scientifically, it is wrong to say that a change has occurred. But when it comes into believing, believing in God, we need to surrender our intellect to faith. That is why, you know, St. Paul teaches in 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 7. St. Paul says, the Christian life, we go by faith, not by sight. So we need to humble. We need to be humble and be open to God performing a miracle every day in this altar. The altars of the church. So can you be humble enough to admit that we do not know it all? And that not knowing it all, it is possible, bread and wine, to become the body and blood of Jesus while keeping the same appearance. Can you discard your logic and believe and surrender to God? You know, when you believe and surrender to God, we don't lose anything. Actually, you gain everything. You know, there is a beautiful chant. Trust, surrender, believe and receive. Trust, surrender and believe and receive. Surrender our logic to God and receive the love of God. Surrender to God and receive His love. You know, that is why Second Vatican Council teaches us that the Holy Eucharist is the center and the culmination of our Christian life. Why? Because it, it enables us to participate in Christ's sacrifice as a present reality and to benefit from its fruits in, in our own life, in our own lives. Again, the Holy Eucharist is the center and culmination of our, of our Christian life because it helps us to worship the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit in a most perfect way. And again, it strengthens our um, charity and unity with Jesus and each other in a joint offering of the holy body and blood 
to the Father. Again, it gives us a lasting memorial of the Christ's suffering, death, and resurrection, reminding us of our obligation to make a loving sacrifice for others. So the Eucharist is the mystery of our faith. Eucharist is the mystery of our hope, the mystery of our charity. You know, why, why we do celebrate the Holy Eucharist some 2,000 years later? You know why? Because Jesus told us to do so. Do this in memory of me. So my brothers and sisters, as we celebrate the solemnity of the most holy body and blood of Jesus, so let us appreciate the real presence of Jesus in the Holy Eucharist by receiving him with a true repentance for, of our sins and due preparation and proper reverence. Secondly, <clears throat> let us offer our life on the altar along with Jesus' sacrifice, asking pardon for our sins, expressing our gratitude for the blessings we have received and presenting our needs and petitions on the altar. And again, when we celebrate the Holy Eucharist, always keep in our mind, Jesus is waiting for us. He is waiting for you and me. Remember the words of the consecration of every Mass, recalling Jesus giving himself, giving himself for us. Remember the words in the consecration. This is my body which will be given up for you. This is the cup of my blood. It will be shed for you. So may Jesus in the Holy Eucharist always be the very center and the heart of our church. The very center and heart of our faith. The Holy Eucharist is the very center and the heart of the lives of everyone. So let us always worship and hunger for the Holy Eucharist in our life. Let us always praise and be grateful and thankful. Let us pray, O Sacrament Most Holy, O Sacrament Divine, all praise, all thanksgiving be every moment thine. Amen. Let us profess our Catholic faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him in all things were made. made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary, and became man. 
for our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the Lord the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Let us offer our petitions before our loving and merciful Father. That Catholics everywhere will grow in their love for Christ, made present in the Eucharist. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That nations across the world will learn to live in peace and harmony, especially here in our United States. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who bring communion to the sick and the homebound will be blessed on this festival day. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That all who receive their Holy Communion this year will learn to become more and more like Christ. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our first Holy Communion candidates, May they know the most amazing feeling of spirituality as they receive the body of Christ for the first time and continue to live their lives through Christ. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for our Facebook family, viewing audience, may you feel the presence of Christ in your homes or wherever you may be viewing the Mass. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those suffering from the effects of the coronavirus, and for doctors, nurses, frontliners, grocery and restaurant workers for their safety, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the sick will know strength in this time of need, especially Gabriel Acosta, Barbara Benjamin, Yolanda Kiriel, Carmen Acosta. Richard Rocha, Francis B. Gonzalez, and Rosemary Castaneda, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who have died will be nourished forever at the banquet feast in heaven, especially Esperanza Aragon, Blas Madrid, Guadalupe Guerra, Lily Ramos, Angel Perez Jr., Dolores and Angel Perez Sr., Antonio Miranda, Skip Urban, and Terry Wheeler. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Please be seated.
pray my brothers and sisters that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father may the Lord accept the sacrifice, sacrifice at your, at your hands, hands. For, for the, the praise and glory of his, his name for our good and the good of all his holy, holy church, church. Amen. grant your church O Lord we pray the gifts of unity and peace whose signs are to be seen in mystery in the offerings we hear present through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and every word to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For at the Last Supper, with his apostles, establishing for the ages to come the saving memorial of the cross, he offered himself to you as the unblemished Lamb, the acceptable gift of perfect praise, nourishing your faithful by the sacred mystery, you make them holy so that the human race, bounded by one world, may be enlightened by one faith and united by one bond of charity. And so we approach the table of this wonderful sacrament so that bathed in the sweetness of your grace we may pass over to the heavenly realities here foreshadowed therefore all the creatures of heaven and earth sing a new song in adoration holy 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the new form, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, ended willingly into his passion, Jesus took bread, giving you thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, Jesus took the chalice, once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, 
for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life, the chalice of salvation, Giving thanks, you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Edward, our bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all. We pray that with Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased to you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen, 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 amen. Formed by the divine teaching, we dare to say together, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. As we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who set your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other Christ's peace. Peace be with you. Lord Jesus Christ, and of the living God, who by the will of the Father and of the Holy Spirit, through your death.
that give light to me, bring me from all my sins and from every evil. Give me always faithful to your commands and never let me part from you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy, worthy that, that you should enter under, under my roof, my room, but, but only, only to say the word, and my, my soul, soul shall be healed. Body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, bring eternal life to us, receive it the body of Christ. Keep me safe for eternal life. Amen. The blood of Christ. Keep me safe for eternal life. Amen. an act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are ever present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you are already there, and unite myself wholly to you, Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
broken and shed by Christ, that the world might live. Here is God's kingdom given to us as food. This is our body. This is our blood. A living sign of God in Respond with, we thank you, Lord. For the gift of the Holy Eucharist, we say, we thank you, Lord. For the Holy Eucharist, and our, as our spiritual food, we say, we thank you, Lord. For the Holy Eucharist, and the love that you gave to us through the breaking of the bread, we say, we thank you, Lord. We now invite the president of our parish council, Mario Reyes, to give us some parish updates. Hello. Brothers and sisters in Christ, I come to you today to ask for your help. Many of us have struggled if we have proceeded through this pandemic and been kept away from each other and from our church. It has been difficult for many of us to not be physically here in the church, but fortunately we have this and other formats to stay connected. I hope that we are all reading from the scriptures and praying more. Through many of, our generous, of your generous donations, our parish has been able to provide food boxes for those in need and provide help to people in other ways. That is what we do. We come together and do Christ's work when we need to. It is now time for us to come together to help our parish. While we have been away from Mass in person, our collections have steadily decreased to a level that will soon no longer support the parish. Just as in our own households, where we have commitments and bills to pay, so does our parish. The funds used for these commitments come from our weekly collections. We provide our own support. The diocese, or even the church as a whole, does not provide financial support for daily activities of parishes. Like I said, we take care of ourselves. I am asking for everyone to prayerfully consider making a single donation, continue making your weekly donations, or maybe increasing your weekly donation at this time. You can make donations by mail or drop them off in the office. Arrangements can be made for the donations to be as contactless as possible. Any amount will help and be put to good use. We miss you all and know that we will be able to see each other soon to worship our Lord together. Thank you. Thank you, Mario. Let us pray. Grant, O oh Lord, we pray, that we may delight for all eternity in that share in your divine life, which is foreshadowed in the perfect present age by of your precious body and blood who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. 
the Lord be with you and with your spirit may Almighty God bless you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit amen go in peace of Christ thanks, thanks be to God and thank you everyone and thank you Mario for your presentation and um, uh, we wish you all and uh, I want to see you soon uh, all in the church that we celebrate the mass together and until then stay safe stay healthy amen amen
Sing it. 